What's up people of Earth? My name is Olaf and uh, I'm from Iceland. This is my experience with the Omai Ayahuasca. So I started my ayahuasca journeys back in the 2016 and I've been doing it since then every year, almost every year except this one time because pandemic. I've been with the different organizations and individuals. I like all of them. Omai is definitely one of my top go-to places for ayahuasca. Back in 2016, I was in this place. I was not at the Omai Center, but uh, the team was from Omai. I had a really good time. I had a really deep time. Went back home with a bunch of breakthroughs. And a year later, in 2017, I went to the Omai Center. And uh, I've been back there in 2022 and earlier this year, 2023. I just love the Omai Center and uh, I love the guides working there. In all of my different ceremonies, uh, I've always been in different places, even with the same organizations, because they rotate the, the locations. But on my center is the only place that I've returned to. It has like a certain feeling of grounding for me, like a home base. I love going back there. It's like going back home. I listen to fellow participants say the same thing, even the first timers. I always meet guides I've uh, met before and I always connect with new ones. Uh, what I think is incredible, despite thousands of participants attending the ceremonies throughout the year, there are guides who remember me. Sometimes when I arrive through the door, sometimes in the middle of the ceremony, when I'm in deep process, the way I react to the medicine, the music or whatever, it reminds them of me from my last time. So you're not just a number on a paper passing through, not at the on my. Some guides even remembered me just by seeing my name on the paper for the upcoming ceremony dates before I arrived. Everyone is so nice, open and welcoming. It's such a strange but a, a feel-good feeling when they open the doors with a smile like they're so happy to see you after you've been gone for so long. Even the ones whom I've never met before. The Omai Center really feels like a home and in the same way the guys feel like a family because they truly are. It's easy to feel like that during the ceremony and of course during the afterglow back home after having ceremonies recently but uh, I've been back home for a little while now and I've been away for a long time between my ceremonies and that feeling of home, of family does not go away, not for me. There is a reason why I go back there. I knew about ayahuasca for six years before I finally went for it. I always wanted to do it, but I finally did it at the point in my life where I really needed to do it. I had been going through a lot for a long time and uh, I had already started my healing process myself. But in my process I hit a wall and I realized I needed some help. And ayahuasca was my choice. That choice has changed my life and keeps on changing it. Everything I'm doing today and everything I experience is all because of ayahuasca. Because of the medicine, because of the ceremonies, the loving guidance of the facilitators and of course the continuous self-work back home. The best moments of my life is when I laugh or cry on ayahuasca or both at the same time. The opening and processing of uh, trauma, blockages, grief, anger and uh, sadness is unreal. It's not easy but uh, it is worth it. I truly see what is important, what matters how I've done myself wrong and even better what I can do to do right by me and the others in my life. The beauty and the bliss, the forgiveness and the acceptance of oneself and of others is not of this world. Even after drinking ayahuasca numerous of times, I still have a hard time believing that the physical human brain has the capacity to experience what I experienced. It is a true mystical spiritual experience. Ayahuasca never fails to deliver and uh, I am blown away every time. She will give you what you need, not what you want. Maybe you've heard that one before and that is one of her consistent truths. Sometimes what you need is way more epic, way more beyond than what you want without you even realizing it. I set intentions before drinking, I ask her questions. In the midst of my experience she tells me, you've been asking the wrong questions. Those are the questions you should be asking. And by the way, here are the answers to those questions. Actually, it seems like I, I know the answers myself once I realize what the questions I should have been asking. Everything she teaches me doesn't really feel like learning. I, it, it feels like remembering, like being reminded of something that I always knew deep, deep inside, but uh, completely forgot about. Another favorite moment of mine is going to the bathroom, being led by the guides and have a little whispered chit chats with those divine helpers before I dive back into my inner world after they return me to the mattress. 
I love them so much. Is ayahuasca a drug? Is it a medicine? Is it a spirit? Is it alive and talking to us? Labels are not important to me. Whatever it is, it is working for me. It is a different type of medicine than we are used to. Medicine comes in many different forms. Pharmaceuticals, diet, exercise, meditation, music, singing, dancing, breath work, crazy psychedelic plants. The list goes on and on and everything has its place. All of it works in its own ways. But uh, my reference point of what a medicine is has definitely shifted. I can only speak for myself, but uh, plant medicine is medicine that I, that I can uh, truly feel is healing me during the ceremonies, like in your face type of way. And back home, not as much in your face, but still ongoing and uh, more low key. So life back home. I've learned to be more patient. I've learned to be more understanding, more forgiving towards myself and others. I've learned uh, the what's and the why's about me. And uh, I've been gifted with the house how to deal with situations, how to process emotions, how to enjoy life, how to be more, how to be a human being. Not a perfect being, just a human being. I am uh, more me, more than I ever was. And I'm still stepping more and more into who I am every day. I'm alive, more present, more grounded. I am grateful for all the bad things and the good things. I don't enjoy the bad things. I just deal with them better now. I still struggle. I still have negative habits. I still experience uh, negative thought patterns. I'm still a work in progress. And uh, maybe I always will be, but uh, I've fallen in love with the process. I'm consciously observing my own hero's journey unfold before my eyes. Uh, I am reading my own book as it happens. I am the hero of my own movie, watching it on the go. I'm a filmmaker by heart, but uh, never truly pursued that passion in my life. Ayahuasca wouldn't allow me to not do anything about it anymore. Very early in my ceremony experiences, I had the vision of creating a documentary about ayahuasca. There are already so many ayahuasca documentaries out there. All of them are, in a way, same, but also different. They're all unique in their own way, and uh, I want to make yet another ayahuasca documentary, but my own. I mean, why not? I became like really serious about it, but I want to do it the right way. So I had to start building my skills, experience to prepare for it. And uh, so I signed up for a filmmaking courses, invested in camera gear and editing computers and uh, started a YouTube channel to practice my skills. I started to put myself more out there, reaching out to people, offering my services and so on and so on. And soon as I started pursuing my passion, great things started to happen. It made me kind of wish I started earlier, but uh, then again, I don't believe I was ready for it until I was ready for it. Ayahuasca unblocked me and helped me unlock levels within myself. Fast forward today, I've worked on numerous projects. I've worked with high profile people here in Iceland and uh, I've even had some of my stuff broadcasted on TV. Things I never thought would be possible for me, but thanks to Ayahuasca and because of my accomplishments, which I also thank Ayahuasca for. Professionally producing my own Ayahuasca documentary is very possible in my mind right now. And that vision only grows stronger and stronger. None of this happened overnight, but looking back, so much happened in such a short time. If I would be watching this video back then, I would have not believed it. It hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows. It's been a lot of hard work and deep processes. The ayahuasca experience and life back home afterwards is not just about bliss. It's also about the darkness. Everything has a place. Everything is a part of me, even the darkness. But uh, ayahuasca has helped me integrate it and uh, given me the compass to navigate through it and also allowed me to enjoy the light. Enjoy the light when I'm in it without feeling guilty or bad about it, because I had that problem before. I will be forever grateful for the plant medicine, for ayahuasca, for the beautiful people who've watched over me during my journeys in the ceremonies. Words cannot describe the appreciation and love that I have. This is uh, my experience. Yours will be different. You have your own life, your own memories, your own traumas and emotions, and your own unique experiences. You will have your own version of your own journey, if you answer the call. The so-called calling of ayahuasca. If ayahuasca is calling you, if you can see it in your environment, if you hear it in your mind, if you feel it in your body, no matter how weird or silly the calling might present itself to you, my advice to you is answer the call. 
Ayahuasca won't fix your problems overnight and she probably won't fix them at all, but you will start your journey towards healing, forgiving, accepting, or whatever it is you need in your life at the moment. You will. You yourself. And she will be there to guide you along the way towards healing, forgiving, accepting, or whatever it is you need in your life at the moment. That's it. Shout out to the beautiful team of Omai. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I owe you my life. As in not going through life like I'm the living dad. That's uh, who I used to be. And to all of you out there listening, whether you will go down the path of ayahuasca or choose a totally different path, just make that choice because life is beautiful. I wish you the best in your journeys and uh, thank you so much for listening.